CMT, I'll refer to it for this discussion, uh, although this is a little bit of an older term for it, causes typically a high arch. It causes the ankle to start to turn in, so the foot turns in and the ankle turns outward creating somewhat of a cavus or claw, a clawed foot. And uh, often what you'll see, and I'll kind of show it on the model, is the foot starts to develop a higher arch, and then it tilts so the foot turns in. If this is the outside of the foot over here, it turns in, uh, creating instability so that the foot tends to want to sprain, almost like a constant ankle sprain. This disease is progressive. It tends to create increasing deformity over time, and the weakness usually becomes more significant as you age or become older. It's not a very common condition, and usually it's found in populations where that gene is more present. However, if you notice that, you're having a, that you have or have developed a more significant claw foot or a cavus foot, this is a foot that's in, that has a higher arch and even also associated with toes that start to curl up as well, then you may have this condition. You may also have conditions that are related to this, including some conditions of the spine, or neurologic disease that's causing the foot to deform. In any case, if you start noticing progression of any deformity in your foot, it's appropriate for you to see a doctor and have this, re have this reviewed and, and looked at to ensure that it isn't something that needs to be addressed in an early, early stage of the disease.